technology is moving so fast that people barely understand one invention before the next one arrives. But nothing has shocked the world like the rise of humanoid robots. And now, China has taken this shock to a whole new level. China just revealed new female humanoid robots. And for many, they feel like the future is arriving early. But as we watch these machines walk, talk, and live, we also need to ask serious questions about what this might mean for real human life. These robots are not just metal arms and mechanical voices. They look human. They move like humans. They talk, smile, answer questions, learn new skills, and adapt to the people around them. Engineers in China say this is only the beginning. They want robots that can support homes, hospitals, businesses, and even scientific research. These robots are set to revolutionize fields of companionship, caregiving, and beyond. In November 2025, Chinese electric vehicle company Xpeng unveiled its new humanoid robot, called Iron, in a public event that stunned many. The company presented Iron with a female figure, smooth walking, and a lifelike posture. The robot's gait looked so natural and human-like that many viewers immediately wondered, was it really a robot? Or a person in a suit? Those doubts spread fast online. Some insisted it must be a human. Others were sure it was fake. In response, Xping's founder publicly unzipped the robot on stage to show mechanical parts, joints, wiring, and metal frames to prove it was real. This dramatic reveal sparked global headlines and made Iron a symbol of how rapidly humanoid robotics is advancing. According to Xpeng, the new Iron has 82 degrees of freedom, meaning many independently moving joints, flexible skin, a humanoid spine, synthetic bionic muscles, and powerful AI chips that allow for interaction, movement, and sensing. The company aims to start mass production by late 2026, with plans to deploy these robots in real-world settings, such as retail, hospitality, and other service roles before they become available to individuals. That's not all. China's broader robotics industry, supported by tech firms, research labs, and manufacturing capacity, is creating many kinds of humanoid machines. Some will likely focus on utility, such as labor, logistics, or care, while others aim for lifelike appearance and social interaction. Together, these efforts show China's clear ambition to lead in humanoid robotics. Because of their design, these new female humanoid robots are being proposed for uses far beyond factories or warehouses. In crowded cities, loneliness and social isolation are real problems. For some people, a robot that listens attentively, speaks gently, remembers personal details, and never gets angry or tired, could feel like a comforting friend. Another notable innovation comes from IronTech, a factory renowned for hyper-realistic female robots that blend advanced animatronics with customizable features such as skin tone, eye color, and hairstyles. These robots are crafted with an artistry that enables them to provide emotional companionship and practical assistance. Iron Tech's robots are deployed in various contexts, including photo shoots, artistic projects, and as lifelike companions for users desiring personalized interaction. The ability to respond empathetically, remember user preferences, and perform household tasks sets these humanoids apart as multifunctional partners designed not only to entertain, but also to help with daily life responsibilities. In addition, Research hubs in Shanghai are pushing humanoid robotics to new heights with platforms like the Qinglong V3 Zero, a robot boasting unprecedented degrees of movement, freedom, and adaptability. Designed to mimic human motions fluidly and perform complex tasks, Qinglong V3 Zero serves as a testament to China's ambitions to mass-produce general-purpose humanoid robots capable of assisting in labor and household chores. With plans to train over 1,000 such robots by 2027, this effort highlights China's strategic investment in AI and robotics as engines for economic transformation. Again is Aria, designed to engage interactively with users, offering companionship that includes learning and adapting to personal quirks. She exemplifies the current state of female humanoid robots with natural grace and movement, a realistic voice, and the capacity to simulate empathy able to listen attentively and respond warmly to emotional expressions. 
Aria represents how these robots are meant to fulfill roles traditionally associated with human partners, combining emotional support with practical assistance. Other prominent humanoids, such as the GR1 robot, focus on caregiving roles. Developed to assist in medical care and rehabilitation, the GR1 is designed to support elderly and disabled individuals by recognizing faces, speech, and objects while providing physical assistance like moving and lifting. The robot can climb stairs, carry significant loads, and interact in real time, indicating its potential to replace or supplement human caregivers and companions in critical settings. If these humanoid robots become common, the impact could go far beyond novelty. Not everyone has strong human relationships. Some people feel lonely, socially anxious, or simply disconnected. A patient, stable robot, one that never tires, never judges, and always listens, might feel like a reliable friend. For those struggling emotionally or socially, robots could offer consistent comfort and stability. Elderly people, people with disabilities, or those needing constant care, could also benefit. If humanoids can help lift, carry, guide, or simply offer company, they might reduce strain on family members, caregivers, or overburdened health systems. Robots could also fill roles humans often avoid. Night shifts, repetitive chores, heavy lifting, or service jobs requiring long hours. This could free people to focus on more creative, emotional, or supervisory roles. Businesses might also benefit from lower costs, 24 7 operation, and consistent performance. These machines blur the line between tools and companions. If we start forming emotional connections with machines rather than other people, or use machines for support we used to expect from humans, we could change what relationship, care, or intimacy means in a deeply technological world. With all the excitement, there are serious concerns. If people start depending on robots for emotional support and companionship, they might stop seeking real human relationships. Over time, that could weaken social bonds, reduce empathy, and make real human interaction feel unnecessary, difficult, or awkward. Real relationships involve conflict, compromise, and emotional growth, things a robot cannot truly simulate. Even if a robot always listens and comforts, it does not respond spontaneously, does not feel real emotions, and can never replicate the unpredictability and richness of human behavior. Many of the new robots, like Iron, are designed with idealized human beauty. This raises ethical questions. Are we normalizing unrealistic standards for what companions, especially female ones, should look like? Could this reinforce harmful stereotypes or encourage treating human-like figures as objects rather than persons? When robots are customizable in appearance, voice, and behavior, they can be shaped to fit individual fantasies. That might seem appealing, but it risks reducing relationships to service and satisfaction instead of mutual respect, growth, and unpredictability. Some people might turn to robots after painful human relationships, social anxiety, or rejection. A robot never judges, never demands, never disappoints, but that perfect comfort might feel hollow over time. Real growth often comes from difficult, messy human interactions, not comfortable robotic companionship. There is also a risk that people will stop trying with other humans if machines always provide smooth, low-effort comfort. Emotional resilience, compromise, and social learning could decline. A robot that listens, watches, and interacts often with cameras, microphones, and AI raises privacy concerns. Who owns the data? Who controls the robot's actions? Could people misuse humanoids to spy, manipulate, or replace human roles? These are questions that need public debate and regulation. There are things we do know and things that remain uncertain. Xpeng publicly demonstrated a female form humanoid robot, Iron, with realistic walking and appearance during its 2025 AI day. The robot was later shown in detail, exposing internal mechanical components to prove it was not a human in a suit. According to Xpeng, Iron has dozens of moving joints, 82 degrees of freedom, and runs on high-performance AI chips that support vision, motion, and interaction. The company plans mass production and wants to deploy the robots first in commercial and service settings such as retail and hospitality by 2026. 
What we do not yet know is whether these robots will actually become affordable, common companions in people's homes. Mass production is planned, but it is not guaranteed to succeed or cover costs. We also don't know how well such robots will handle real-world daily life. Messy human environments, unpredictable behavior, emotional complexity, long-term maintenance, or wear and tear. It is uncertain whether people will treat robots as companions, tools, or something else, and what social or psychological consequences that will have. The ethical and societal impact of widespread humanoid companions, such as on privacy, human relationships, and emotional health, remains largely untested. The breakthrough of Iron and other ambitious Chinese humanoid projects means we are entering a new era. What once belonged to science fiction, robots that walk, talk, and interact like humans, is now real technology, ready for deployment. If even a fraction of the proposed applications come true, we could be moving into a world where robots walk among us in shops, offices, and hospitals, assist elderly people or those living alone, offer companionship to those who feel lonely or disconnected, take on work humans, avoid heavy lifting, tedious tasks, repetitive labor, and change how we define relationships, companionship, care, and support. That shift could deeply reshape daily life, social norms, and human behavior, for better or worse. At the same time, the changes come with trade-offs. Relying on robots means accepting potential losses, weaker social bonds, emotional dependency on machines, privacy risks, and a world where superficial perfection is available on demand. Because of this, what happens next, whether robots stay tools, become companions, or partly replace human roles, depends not just on engineers and companies, but on society. We must decide whether we treat these robots as helpful assistants, occasional tools, or something more, and what rules and values will guide that decision. China's newest female humanoid robots, led by the striking launch of Xpeng's Iron, mark a turning point in robotics. These are not stiff metal puppets. They walk with balance. They move with fluidity. They look almost human. But they are still machines. Under the skin are motors, wires, sensors, and AI chips. They can only simulate empathy, not feel it. They can follow scripts, respond to voice, and move their limbs, but they cannot love, hurt, grow, or truly connect in the way humans do. As we stand at this crossroads, the question isn't just what robots can do, but what we want them to become. Do we use them as tools to enhance human life, or do we let them replace things that once made us human? The coming years will tell, but for now, we should watch closely, wonder, and ask questions. Because this may be the most important technological shift of our time. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching till the end. What do you think about these robots? Tell us in the comments. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. And we'll see you in our next video.